Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will discuss the use of permutations and combinations to find probabilities of compound events. Let us first look at the following definitions. Now permutation is an arrangement or listing in which order is important. The number of permutations of n things taken R at a time is given by n p r which is equal to n factorial upon n minus r in factorial second is combination now combination is an arrangement or listing in which order is not important in probabilities these are used when things are chosen without replacement. Now the number of combinations of n things taken r at a time is given by n c r which is equal to n factorial whole upon r factorial into n minus r whole factorial. Also you must note that n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 the whole into n minus 2 the whole and so on up to 3 into 2 into 1. Now let us discuss fundamental counting principle. Now if event A has n possible outcomes and event B has n possible outcomes Then event A followed by event B has n into n possible outcomes Now we shall make use of these results in finding probabilities of compound events now let us consider an example. Now in this example it is given that a committee of five members is to be constituted from a group of six males and eight females. If the selection is made randomly, find the probability that committee has three female members and two male members and find the probability that committee has all male members. Now let us start with its solution. Now we know that probability of an event is equal to number of favorable outcomes upon total number of outcomes. Now total number of candidates is equal to 6 males plus 8 females which is equal to 14 candidates. Now, out of these 14 candidates, we have to select 5 candidates. It means, out of 14, choose 5, that is, number of combinations 
of 14 things taken 5 at a time which is NCR that is 14 C5 so total number of outcomes is equal to 14 C5 now we have to find favorable outcomes for the event of selecting 3 female members and 2 male members so first we randomly select 3 females from 8 females followed by selecting any 2 males from 6 males it means out of 8 females choose 3 females followed by out of 6 males choose 2 males that is 8C3 followed by 6C2 so by fundamental principle of counting number of favorable outcomes is equal to 8C3 into 6C2 so the required probability P of selecting 3 females and 2 males is equal to number of favorable outcomes upon total number of outcomes so this is equal to 8C3 into 6C2 whole upon 14C5 now we know that NCR is equal to N factorial over R factorial into N minus R whole factorial so here this is equal to now 8C3 will be 8 factorial upon 3 factorial into 8 minus 3 whole factorial into 6C2 will be 6 factorial upon 2 factorial into 6 minus 2 whole factorial whole upon now 14C5 will be 14 factorial upon 5 factorial into 14 minus 5 whole factorial and this is equal to 8 factorial upon 3 factorial into 5 factorial into 6 factorial upon 2 factorial into 4 factorial whole upon 14 factorial upon 5 factorial into now 14 minus 5 is 9 so it will be 9 factorial now on calculating 8 factorial upon 3 factorial into 5 factorial is equal to 8 into 7 and this is equal to 56 and 6 factorial upon 2 factorial into 4 factorial is equal to 15 and 14 factorial upon 5 factorial into 9 factorial is equal to 2002 putting all these values here this is equal to 56 into 15 whole upon 2002 now 2 into 28 is 56 and 2 into 1001 is 2002 then 7 into 4 is 28 and 7 into 143 is 1001
So this is equal to 4 into 15 that is 60 upon 143. So probability of selecting 3 females and 2 males is 60 upon 143. Now here order does not matter. We could have selected male members first and female members later. Then also probability will remain same. Thus, whenever we have to choose R things from given N things, we make use of combinations. Now in the second part, we have to find probability of selecting all males. Now total number of outcomes is equal to 14C5, which is equal to 2002. Now here we have to select all males. So favorable outcomes means no female is selected and all males are selected that is 0 female and 5 males as here we have to select 5 candidates. So number of favorable outcomes is equal to 8C0 into 6C5 as from 8 female members we have to choose 0 female member and from 6 male members we have to choose 5 male members and this is equal to 8 factorial upon 0 factorial into 8 minus 0 whole factorial into 6 factorial upon 5 factorial into 6 minus 5 whole factorial. Now you must note that 0 factorial is equal to 1. So this is equal to 8 factorial upon 1 into 8 minus 0 factorial that is 8 factorial into 6 into 5 factorial upon 5 factorial into 1 factorial. Now this is equal to 1 into, now 1 factorial is 1. So this is 1 into 6 which is equal to 6. So probability P of selecting all males is equal to number of favorable outcomes that is 6 upon total number of outcomes that is 2002 so this is equal to 6 upon 2002 which is equal to 3 upon 1001 so, probability of selecting all males is equal to 3 upon 1001. So, in this session we have discussed the use of permutations and combinations to find probabilities of compound events. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.